Hey beautiful people of the internet, my name is Ryan and two years ago I was asked this one question. What is the hardest thing about writing action, like physical action in stories? And for the last like two years I've had one answer to the question but like 500 different ways of explaining it because I, it's hard to talk about. Today I'm gonna try a new way of talking about it. Disclaimer, welcome to my room. Like, the room I grew up in. I recently moved back home again in Indiana. <clears throat> in Greentown, Indiana. I should really start thinking about, yeah, what I'm gonna say before I say it. So yeah, new location. More about that in a future video. Okay, so here is the idea. The hardest thing about writing physical action, like a baseball player going up to bat from the moment that the ball exits the pitcher's hand to the moment it touches the catcher's mitt with a swing and a miss in between. That moment, for example, the hardest thing about writing that, like you can make that moment as fast or as slow for the reader as you would like, but you can never pause time. That might not make a lot of sense at first, so let's go into this example. Okay, so as a writer, you sit down to write this scene. Say it's the climax of a baseball-related story. Bottom of the ninth, etc, etc. First, maybe you want the reader to experience this moment very quickly. He swung and missed, for example. That's going to successfully and very quickly show the reader the moment and then move forward. One of the problems with such casual writing, though, is that then the moment seems very casual and unimportant. Side note, you don't actually have to even write the moment. You can show everything that happens beforehand, everything that happens afterwards, and just kind of let the reader connect the dots, but that's a whole other topic. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you could hypothetically spend pages or tens of pages adding hundreds of little details into this one second moment to make it last almost forever. The half-formed thoughts of the batter, the angle of the catcher's mitt, the angle of the bat, the angle of the ball as it exits the pitcher's hand, every single person in or around the scene. No joke, all of these could be important if done correctly and then added to the story. Writing is expansive. The problem, or the challenge I guess, is that every single word that you add puts the scene a little bit more into slow motion. Even assuming that every single detail that you add is important, you're taking this scene, this one second scene, and stretching it paper thin. Okay, so what about somewhere in the middle? That's the takeaway. In the end, in the scope of these trillion choices that you have of telling this one moment, of this one scene, of this one story, you have to keep both of these two things in mind. You have to dwell on the moment if you're going to make it important, sure. But on the other hand, every single word that you add to the page is going to click time forward a tiny bit in the reader's head. The writer then is always just barely behind. You can't win this game. Each word you add makes the moment more important. But that moment is already passing, and now you have a little bit less of a page left to write the next moment, which will also pass, and then the next moment, which will pass. It is an incredibly hard gig. Uh, I have no idea how I ever thought that writing was easy or natural or anything other than magic. Anyways, in my ever humble opinion, that is what's so hard about writing physical action in stories. It's always just slipping away from you. That's all I got. I'll see y'all next week. Best wishes. By the time this video is posted, I will have graduated from Wabash College. Time travel. Technology is nuts. Disclaimer, high levels of little giant pride coming at you in three, two, one. P.S. Ireland.